Hey everyone, and welcome back to my favorite video. It's the latest in my Throwback Thursday series. This time we're going back to June of 2011 to find out what I liked and if it's still sticking around in my collection. So I will link the original video below. I apologize, that was before I was filming in HD, so it might not be the best quality if you actually want to torture yourself and revisit that video. For those of you that actually watched it when it went live the first time, thank you so much for sticking around. I don't know how many of you there are, but um, thank you if you are still here. And let's jump in. Okay, first thing I talked about back then was the Essie Saint Tropez nail polish, which I have right here. I actually, this was a bitter, this was a great month for me. June of 2011 was when my oldest son had his bar mitzvah and I filmed this video right after that weekend. So I was still all on my big high from having the largest party and biggest milestone so far. And now I'm planning my next one's um, bar mitzvah in August. So that's kind of exciting. But anyway, I had worn this, there was a point to, to me bringing that up. I'd worn this throughout the whole weekend because I wanted something that was pretty, but that was neutral and would go with all the different outfits. I had four, like three or four outfits for the weekend. So it was the Essie Saint Tropez nail polish and I haven't worn it in a really long time. This was before I discovered Zoya and I've been wearing a couple other polishes from Zoya that are in that same neutral category. And my all time favorite one of course is the Pixie Dust, the old formula in Godiva. And also this newest one in my collection which is I think Jewels, yes, Jewels. And I've swatched all three of them here. So this is Saint Tropez, that's Godiva, and that's Jules. They're similar, and honestly, I if you want a cream finish, this is still my favorite. And I may wear it again in August, but I'm leaning more towards Godiva because it's just a little more fancy. And Saturday night party is gonna be pretty fancy. So anyway, those um they're all still great and still in my collection. The next thing I mentioned was my Cody Airspun Loose Powder, which I still have but don't use very often. I dropped it a while back and cracked it. This is um, this is an oldie but a goodie. It's been around since 1935. If you want to set your foundation and never have your makeup budge or look sweaty, this is your go-to. And now that it's getting hot and sticky here in San Antonio, I may pull this out. But what I've been using a lot more is, um, and I use it almost every day, and sometimes I list it in the description box and sometimes I just forget. It's one of those unsung silent heroes of my makeup collection. It's the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW22. You set your makeup once with this and you're done. I just use a Sephora uh, 55 airbrush. It comes with a little pad that I've used occasionally. What I like about this is I can take it with me, whereas this is not portable. So this ends up getting used a lot more. It's a, little, a lot less messy. There's no powder flying everywhere. I sort of moved away from the loose powder thing, but not, I mean, I will always keep this and I always have a opportunity to use this, but more often than not, I reach for this now. The next one was the Mitchum Advanced Control. And you know what? Obviously it's not the same um, product that I had way back in June of 2011, but it is, I don't know, my 18th gazillion one. I've tried so many other deodorants. I know it's not a topic a lot of people like to talk about, but frankly, we all have armpits, they all sweat, or we're ladies, we all perspire, whatever. Still use this stuff, this holds up great. It's a summer staple, year-round staple in Texas. If you don't use this, you should get it. Next thing I talked about, I'm looking at a list if you're wondering. Um, I have my little, look at that, my blogging um, ideas and plans, so I wrote it all down so that I wouldn't forget what I had back then, so if you're wondering. So the next thing was the Neutrogena Visibly Even Daily Moisturizer that had an SPF, and being a YouTuber in the world of beauty and skincare and all that, um, I'm fickle when it comes to skincare, so of course that's long gone. And what I'm currently using as far as a daily moisturizer is the Colleen Rothschild Sheer Renewal Cream, which I should probably start rolling down so I can get all the good stuff out. And then as far as evening out skin tone, there have been a couple products I've been using. Lately, it's been the Colleen Rothschild Vitamin C Treatment Complex, or is it Complex Treatment? Treatment Complex. And just to get it in here one more time, if I'm not enough of an ag on Twitter and Facebook, is I still have the Gold Girl 20 code. It's the 20% uh, off code for Colleen Rothschild products, and it's only good till June 23rd, so use it. I have placed two orders already this week. 
Yes, I mean, I am using it too, why not, right? So 20% off is a good deal, because these, I will admit, they are not the least expensive products, but I will say you get what you pay for, and the quality is amazing. So I have purchased four more items this week, yeah. And then as far as the SPF, I don't use it so much in my moisturizer, is um, I use this as my primer most days, and it's the Bonds, Pons BB Plus Luminous Finish, I can say this, Pons Luminous Finish BB Plus Cream, which I have been a huge fan of for a long time, as you all know, and um, I'm wearing it today. Goody Spin Pins. These were a favorite three years ago, and they are still a favorite now. These live in my purse, mostly. Um, I usually wear my hair down, but if I'm out and about and it's getting really hot, these are great to have in your little beauty bag and just throw your hair up and stick it in a bun and you're good to go. Highly, highly recommend these. They come in, you know, different shades depending if you're blonde or brunette. They come in shorter ones if you just want to do a half bun. I love these. The next thing was the Coastal Sense 88 Warm Palette. It was a present from my friend Katie. I think she got it and was didn't love it. So she... Yeah, that would be one of the reasons I'm not using it anymore. Um, so this was great for me to get into neutrals and play and um, get an idea of what I liked. Um... These are decent quality, I'm not going to say they're not, but sometimes having these many choices is a little overwhelming, and I um, have built up quite a huge collection of neutral warm shadows, be it the individual MAC shadows, Too Faced Natural Collection, the Naked Palettes, all those, so I don't... I don't really reach for that, no, let's be honest, I do not reach for that anymore. I, I, not gonna get rid of it, but I don't use it. I use, I mean, even Coastal Sense has come out with better neutral options, like their Revealed palette. So I just, they're great for beginners, but I've sort of moved on from there. Uh, a couple more items left. These are non makeup related Fruit of the Loom three pack strappy sports bras. Um, I love them. These for sure are a summer staple. I have a million of them. They come in two different kinds. One is just, they're both little like bralettes, little cotton bralettes. This is the racer back version, and then I also have just the normal strap. They come in packs of three, and um, usually it's like black, white, and gray, or black, hot pink, and white, or something like that. I wear these um, mostly under sundresses, maxi dress kind of things, because I um, don't like to let it all hang out, and some things are cut a little low, and this gives me just the support I need, so, you know, I can't just go free. I don't even know what I was going to say, but, I mean, I do, but it doesn't apply to girls. Um, I can't just let the girls just go, so they've got to be put into something, and um, when it's hot, you sweat, and um, these get, you know, it's easier to wash these than a, than a normal traditional bra. So, that was a lot of TMI. These two together is just like more than you probably wanted to hear about in one video. But anyway, um, I got these in Walmart. I don't know where else they're sold. Wherever Fruit of the Loom products are sold. And they're pretty cheap. And I actually need to go buy some more. They come in different styles now. So check those out. They are great to wear under a million different things. And then the last thing is the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Countertop Spray in Lavender. Loved it back then. For some reason now, the scent makes me want to vomit. Um, but I do still use the product, I just get it in the Lemon Verbena scent because I love that scent better. So those were my favorites back then and what I'm using now. And one more thing that I wanted to talk about was um, something I just shot my stash and I've been wearing it. It's the, remember when everyone talked about the Bare Minerals loose eyeshadows? They were all over YouTube and now they're not. Like what happened? So I only have one and it's a nude beach, and I'm wearing it today with Mac Omega in the crease, and I wore it yesterday. It's just a very natural but glowy look, and I love it. So I um, haven't used this pigment in a really long time, but I'm bringing it back. Anyway, that is what's going on. If you want to see this entire outfit, check out my Instagram account, because it was posted there as an outfit of the day. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.